everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to the Nigerian Nomad channel. For you guys that don't know me, I'm a second generation Nigerian American in Nigeria, here with my family, just exploring Nigeria, exploring the lifestyle, the culture, and business opportunities. Um, I primarily focus on this channel on real estate and agriculture and farming. So that's definitely what I talk about on the business and entrepreneurship side. And then on the lifestyle culture, I talk about everything else. So if you guys have been watching my videos, I've been taking you guys on a journey of renovating this house for a client of ours. The client is actually in the US, so we're handling all of the renovation for him, overseeing everything, which is really, really cool. This also gives me a lot of experience with our Green Paradise projects that we're gonna be taking on in a few months. For you guys that don't know, check out the greenparadise.com. It will give you all the information that you need to know of uh, the community that we're building. So today, I just want to take you guys through some few updates of the house and let's go. So one thing that's new, definitely a new gate is coming to do a sliding gate here. And from the last videos, you guys would have recognized this. We finally added two coaches of block here. So the idea is the gate, it's, it's taller than this. It's actually 240 inches or whatever that we measured. And this one should be 250. I just want to verify the height of this to make sure that it's good, at least close enough. So this one is seven feet. So I'm thinking that the discrepancy is that this, that where the gate is gonna go, this is actually gonna end up being higher than this. So let me make sure, let me measure this one. So this one is 220. I'm going to verify with the project lead because I think this is supposed to be actually unless we are raising the pillar this is supposed to be 250 so uh, that's again this is why I come here is to just double check these things so I don't know if we have to add one more or not but anyways other things that you guys can see that has changed is they have taken all those ugly bricks out they've taken it out on the entrance pathway of the door and they've taken it out of the front of the building and they're also taking out the side ones. Let me show you. Ah, we can't see it from here. Let me go on this side. Come on. Also, all the tiles, the break-in, all of it has been dumped outside. The deadline is to actually move these today. So that's why we're on track for that. So there's something interesting going on here. On the other episode that you guys might have watched, we had a scaffolding that we rented. But over time, they realized that the scaffolding cannot go in between two walls. So what they're essentially doing is they're using these bamboos and they're constructing a kind of like a manual scaffold for them to be able to climb to scrape up all these bricks. And bamboo is very, very strong. So they're building like a bamboo structure that they're going to stand on to scrape everything else. All right, so another thing determined in my inspection today is I noticed that there's a big crack here. And I'm wondering what the heck that is. So one thing that we now discovered is this is actually like carpentry work and what we call POP, which is like a drop down ceiling type thing. Um, and this goes all the way around the house. And I'm like, dang, why would they do that? So this is always going to cause problems long term because water and of course they didn't have good kind of rain water system anyways. So all this i can actually see signs of it all throughout the house some of it is bumpy around so this is going to be a new expense so i was just kind of discussing with my project lead on what we can do so that's one thing that we are discovering that we need to sort out and the discussion more that's happening today is i hate when acs are all over the external of the house now organized so we were just walking around the house to figure out what are the locations of the air conditioning and how are we going to make it neat and organized and level from the outside? How are we going to make sure that the water drains from the inside into the floor drain that we're going to put into the drainage system? Because some places when you see it, they put the condensation pipe out and you see water leaking like this or sometimes it's against the wall 
and there's water leaking and I always hate that. So this time we're going to design all of the ACs and the condensation of the water to go directly into the ground and into a pipe to the drainage. So now let's go upstairs to talk about this sliding window drama that I have. Let's go check that out. All right. So all the bathrooms cleared out, which is wonderful. Ooh, they cleared out everything in here, which is great. One cannot breathe. Awesome. So part of clearing out this space is there's some electrical work that needs to be happened. There's some plumbing that needs to be rerouted. So this gives us like a, a space to do all of it before we beautify it up. Check this out, guys. I know, I know. So I'm happy they have broken, I think they have, they have broken this for sure. So I think I'm going back to my sliding window. <laughs> so yeah, but that's final decision. And they've already started casting the top. So I think, uh, so I think I'm happy. They have finished this, so we're already going to, I'm going to clean all this place out, brush it, put windows, and just seal this area from the community, from, from the house. But anyways, so that's where we're at today. Anyways guys, again, I got to get back to work, there's a lot of things I need to chat about, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick update of the project today. Um, check in on the next episode for the next update on this project. Thank you guys so much for watching and remember it's your time to rise and let your light shine. Peace.